So you wanna know how to get a custom domain name and web hosting for your website? Let me show you how I got mine and installed WordPress in just a few easy steps. For those of you just now joining, this is the second video in a beginner's guide to building a website. In this series, I cover everything that you need to know from having no web design skills or knowledge of building a website to having a professional and complete website customized and ready to go for your business. We're gonna have it live and online by the end of this series. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and follow along Along with the rest of the series. In the last video, I covered why WordPress is my favorite platform for building websites for myself and also for clients. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it installed for free on your own custom domain name and web hosting plan. Let's go ahead and jump right in. In order to have a website up and running and live on the internet, you have to have two different things. You have to have a domain name and a web hosting plan. A domain name is just the address to your website. So it's where people will go to view your site. So a domain name looks something like yourwebsite.com. And web hosting, on the other hand, is just renting space on a server that's connected to the internet. You can basically just think of it like getting a phone number and service with Verizon, for example. The phone number is your domain name, and then the service is like getting a web hosting plan. Without one or the other, you wouldn't be able to make calls. And so that's the same thing that applies here for your website. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get your custom domain name and your web hosting plan in this video. Although you can get them for free, I'm going to explain to you why it's a very good idea to pay for your domain name and your web hosting. There are certain limitations that come with a free domain name and a free web hosting plan, and you need to be careful with them. First of all, your website could be deleted at any time because you don't technically own it. It's free. Your domain name is also going to look something like yourwebsite.wix.com or something like squarespace.com or whatever free service that you're using to host your website. And it might even just be a long string of numbers and text that you don't get to choose and this looks terrible. Depending on your free hosting provider, you might not be able to monetize your website with ads if that's what you were planning on doing with it. Sometimes you can't even upload plugins to your website depending on what service you're using. So for these reasons, I always recommend strongly that you purchase your domain name and sign up for a web hosting plan with a reputable hosting provider. I always use Hostinger for all of my websites, whether that be for myself or for clients, and I've never had any issues with them. Their prices are affordable and they're one of the leading hosting providers on the market today. I'm gonna use them for my example today and I would recommend that you use them for your website as well. Most of the time when you sign up for a web hosting plan, you're going to attach your domain name to that account and then you're gonna install WordPress on to that domain name and it's all done in the onboarding process. WordPress is so incredibly popular nowadays that most hosting providers offer it to download automatically for you inside of their onboarding process. Check this out. So if you go to createaprowebsite.com slash hostinger or just click on that first link in the description, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And if you scroll on down, you can see the different plans they have available for you. We've got the premium plan, the business plan, and the cloud startup plan. And so I always recommend the business plan because of the price you pay for everything that you get included. So this is usually the one that I go with. So you would just click on choose plan right here. All right, so next you get to choose your period and you'll see that you have 48, 12, 24 and one month. You're basically just choosing how often you make your payments. So if you select the 12 months right here, you'll also notice that you're paying for all 12 months up front, as you can see right here. So you can select the one month if you wanna do that, but obviously it's gonna be a lot more the shorter your contract. So the longer you sign up, the more of a discount you get. So just kind of keep that in mind. We'll scroll on down. You're going to create an account with Hostinger. And then we're also just gonna fill out our credit card information to go ahead and check out. So it's really simple. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my new email and password as well as fill out my billing information and then I'll just see you guys on the next screen. All right, so as soon as you finish your checkout information, you'll immediately be taken to a page that looks like this. And this is like their onboarding process for their domain and hosting. So what we get to do is, well, so first of all, we just signed up for our hosting plan, which comes with a domain name. So in a couple steps, you'll see there's a progress bar right here. In a couple steps, we get to choose our domain name that is attached to our hosting plan. So it's pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is click on create because we're creating a brand new website and we'll click on next. And then after that, we can choose if we wanna use WordPress or if we wanna use Hostinger's website builder, which we're gonna be using WordPress for this video. Then we get to create our WordPress login for our WordPress account. And so you'll just enter in your email and a password. And then from there, you can click on next. After this, you get to choose what type of website you're gonna build. Basically just helps customize your experience a little bit. So we're gonna be making a business and services website. So we'll click on next. And then after that, it's gonna ask if you wanna download a template, but I'm gonna show you guys where to download some different templates just a little bit later on in the video. So for now, we're just gonna skip this step right here. 
And then next, they're gonna ask if you wanna have any plugins installed before you even get inside of your website. And this can actually help us save a step if we want to. So we're gonna do it here, but I'm also in one of the next videos of this series. I'm gonna show you how to download the plugin from inside of WordPress. But if you're gonna follow these videos along, there's no point in showing you how to do it over there when you can do it right now and it's super fast and does it in the background. So the first plugin you're gonna look for is just called Starter Templates. And it should be the first top left corner. Yep, this one right here. You're gonna click on the checkbox right there. And then we can click on the X button and you'll see that we still have all of these checked. You can basically uncheck all of these, but you can leave WP Forms checked. And so now you'll see the only two plugins that are gonna install automatically in the background is gonna be WP Forms, which was already there, and then starter templates. But that's the one that we're gonna use to download a template, so might as well just download it now. And then you can click on next, but if you don't wanna have any plugins in your website, you can always just click on skip. And then next it's gonna ask if you wanna have AI generate any content for your business. And you guys can choose to do this if you want, but to be honest, we're gonna be doing it all inside of WordPress. And you guys can use WordPress AI or you can use ChatGPT. So there's no really point to do it right here. It's up to you guys though. So I'm gonna click on skip. And now we finally get to choose our domain name that we want to use right here. So for example, you just click right here and you type out whatever you want and you're just trying to see if it's available. All right, so you'll see that I have beginnersguidetowebsites.com and we'll see that it is available so I can choose to use it for $0 for the first year because with your hosting plan, you get the first year for your domain name completely for free. So we're gonna select this one and then click on next. All right, when you're done, you can just confirm your details and click on finish registration. All right, so once you choose your domain, this is sort of a last step. This is part of hosting your CDN service, which is a content delivery network service. So what a CDN does is basically has your website stored on servers that are the closest to your target audience. So whoever you think is actually gonna visit your website, you wanna have it kind of prioritized on one of those servers. So you'll see that these are the servers that hosting or offers. I'm over here in Texas, so I'm gonna select the one that's in Arizona right here because it's the closest to me and who I think is going to visit my business, for example. But if you're in a different country, you might want to select the server that's closest to you. So that being the case, I selected Arizona and I'm going to click on next. And then finally, it's going to install WordPress onto our website completely in the background automatic. Like you don't have to do anything. So that's another reason why I like using Hostinger. All right, congratulations. You finished your onboarding setup for your domain name and your web hosting. So everything's good to go. And you have WordPress installed onto your website. So as you can see the little WordPress logo right here, and you can also see the logo right here, which means this button will take me to the admin panel for my WordPress dashboard. So one thing I wanna point out is you'll notice that my domain status for beginnersguidetowebsites.com will be accessible in about three minutes. They even give you an estimated wait time, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of hosting providers do that. And also that's kind of a new feature because they don't always do this as well. So you'll notice that my SSL has just been installed, that little notification right there. And you'll see that, where is my SSL certificates? I think it's under security over here. So I could open this up on a new tab. You'll see that my SSL certificate is now active and that's the notification that just popped up. So basically hosting her in the background is trying to set everything up for me because I just paid for it, right? So your SSL certificate is your encryption for your website. And then you'll also notice that your domain name isn't ready just yet. And that's because propagation is a thing. So propagation is basically where your hosting provider is going to send out your website domain that you just purchased to every server in the world and let everyone on the internet know that now it's live. And that process can take a little bit of time. In this case, about three minutes is what they estimate. So if you basically purchase your website and then you want to preview your website like this and you go to a new tab and you visit and you see something like this, that's okay. And you'll see that it says preview in your domain and all of that stuff. It's okay. It just means that your website's propagating. It, they just need some time to send it out to everyone and update all the computers. That's all it is. And so I just wanted to give you that update. But at the same time, you'll notice that I can go to my admin panel immediately after purchasing. So you'll see that my domain status is yellow. It's not ready to go yet, but I can still go to my admin panel and Hostinger allows you to still build your website on your domain name, even though it's not ready. Back in the day, you would have to wait until your domain name is ready and then you could start building your website. Hostinger lets you get started right away. And then as soon as your domain name's ready, they just move all your stuff onto your domain and it's done. You don't have to do anything, it's automatic. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Another reason I love Hostinger. So again, once you guys finish with the onboarding process, you'll see this screen right here. Immediately just click on WP admin panel right here, or sorry, W, it's the admin panel. And you'll be taken to your WordPress dashboard. 
and you'll see that we're in the hosting or tab of your dashboard, but you can just click on dashboard right here and it's the same thing. So now you're looking at your WordPress dashboard. Congratulations, you've made it. So now that we're here, let me give you guys a quick overview of how WordPress works and where everything is. Obviously, as this series goes on over the next few days, I'm gonna show you guys how to use WordPress extensively. But for now, let me just give you guys a quick little overview so you're not just staring at a screen not knowing what you're looking at. So this is your WordPress dashboard. This is the back end of your website. So your visitors are never gonna see this. This is just how you log in and change all of your settings over here on the left. What your visitors are gonna see is anytime you wanna view your site, you can click on your name right here or click on visit site. I'm gonna open it on a new tab so that I still have my dashboard for you guys. So, oh, and it looks like our domain name has finished. So if I refresh this page, you'll probably see a little green symbol. Uh, yep, there we go, so green. It looks like our domain has finished propagating because it doesn't say preview in the, in the URL right here. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, whenever you wanna view your website, you click on your little name right here, your beginner's guide to websites.com. I opened it on a new tab and this is what your website looks like so far. And it's just blank and a bunch of dummy content. This is just what comes with any website you buy. There's always gonna be some kind of fake dummy content here that doesn't have any merit whatsoever. You just have to delete it and start building your own. But anyways, this is what people will see when they go to your website right here, beginner's guide to websites.com. This is what they're gonna see. They're not gonna see your WordPress dashboard. So I just wanted to make that clear for you. This is only for your eyes and it's the back end of your website. So we can close out of that. Inside of WordPress, this is how you open up your website. Over here on the right hand side, this is how you can log out. This is kind of like your account information right here. Right here is where you'll see all of your information anytime you go to the dashboard. You don't have any metrics right now because it's a brand new website, but this is where you can have different widgets, which each one of these boxes is kind of like a widget. And they'll show you information, like this is your WP Forms widget, so you would see all of the entry forms that people try to get in contact with you. If you had a metrics plugin like Monster Insights or Google Analytics, you could have one of their widgets up here and you could see all the traffic that's going to your website. So this is just your dashboard. It just shows you information. But again, there's no information to view because it's a new site. So don't worry, this is all just gibberish and you don't really need to know about it. Over here on the left-hand side is where you can go to all of the different parts of your website. So if you think about it, a website is just a bunch of web pages put together. So you go to, for example, your domain name and it's beginner's guide to websites.com and that's the homepage. Then if you went to the services page, it would be beginner's guide to websites.com slash services. That's a page. Then you go to beginner's guide.com slash contact and that's a contact page, right? Well, if you want to view all the pages on your website, you would go to the pages tab right here. And again, I'm just gonna keep opening things on a new tab because I like being able to bounce back to my dashboard. But you'll also notice that anytime you go into something, you still have all of your settings over here on the left. So you can always bounce around wherever you need. Right now, we only have one page on our website and it's this privacy policy page and you guys can keep this or delete it or whatever you want. So as of right now, you don't even have a home page. The page that displays whenever you go, this actually isn't even a home page. This is just dummy co content. This is just nothingness, okay? So there's no pages here. In the next video, when I show you guys how to download templates and how to build your websites and all of that stuff, then you're gonna figure out how to go to the plugins tab, install plugins, and you'll have a bunch of pages here from the template, but for now it's empty. Whenever you have media on your website, like pictures and videos, you can go to the media tab and you'll be able to see all of them here. Whenever you have blog posts on your website, if you're gonna build a blog, you'll have all of your blog posts right here. And you'll see there's a dummy one right here. Let's see, anytime someone leaves comments or reviews on your website, they go in the comments tab. Let's see, plugins over here. So if you wanna install, like this is your app store basically. So these are the current apps that I have installed and I can go add new. And then this is like the app store where I can download whatever plugins I'm looking for. This is also, by the way, how you install starter templates. You would just search for starter templates, which we did just a second ago, and then you would install it. But as you can see, it's already been installed and activated, which is pretty cool. But as you can see, this is where you just pick whichever, you know, plugin you want and install it. It's kind of like apps on your phone. So that's just a basic overview of WordPress. You can open your website up, you can go to your account, and you have all of your parts of your website over here. Don't worry, I'm not expecting you to know anything right now. This is just a basic overview, and in the next few videos of this series, you're gonna know how to use everything. Congratulations, you have now secured your own custom domain name and you've hooked it up to a web hosting plan, which makes it live on the internet. And now you've also installed WordPress so you can start to build your actual website. 
In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to fully customize your website using a free page builder plugin that allows you to quickly and easily build any kind of website that you can imagine in just a few clicks. In that video, I'm gonna cover how to download it, how to use it with all of its features, and then we're also gonna get your website looking clean and professional just the way that you want. I'll see you guys in the next video.